The Republic of Genoa was an independent state and maritime republic from the 11th century to 1797 in Liguria on the northwestern Italian coast, incorporating Corsica from 1347 to 1768, and numerous other territories throughout the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. Known as La Superba, La Dominante, La Dominante dei Mari, and La Repubblica dei Magnifici. From the 11th century to 1528 it was officially known as the Campania Communis Ianuensis and from 1580 as the Serenissima Repubblica di Zina. During the late Middle Ages, the Republic of Genoa was a major commercial power in the Mediterranean and Black Sea, while between the 16th and 17th centuries it was one of the major financial centers in Europe. It was a celebrated maritime republic and today its coat of arms is depicted in the flag of the Italian Navy. In 1284, Genoa fought victoriously against the Republic of Pisa in the Battle of Maloria for the dominance over the Tyrrhenian Sea, and it was an eternal rival of Venice for dominance in the Mediterranean Sea. From 1339 until the state's extinction in 1797 the ruler of the Republic was the Doge, originally elected for life, after 1528 was elected for terms of two years. However, in actuality, the Republic was in fact an oligarchy ruled by a small group of merchant families, from whom the doges were selected. The Republic began when Genoa became a self-governing commune in the 11th century and ended when it was conquered by the French First Republic under Napoleon and replaced with the Ligurian Republic. The Ligurian Republic was annexed by the First French Empire in 1805, its restoration was briefly proclaimed in 1814 following the defeat of Napoleon, but it was ultimately annexed by the Kingdom of Sardinia in 1815. Name it was officially known as Repubblica di Genova and was nicknamed by Petrarch as La Superba, in reference to its glory and impressive landmarks. For over eight centuries the Republic was also known as La Dominante, La Dominante dei Mari, and La Repubblica dei Magnifici. History Background After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the city of Genoa was invaded by Germanic tribes, and, in about 643, Genoa and other Ligurian cities were captured by the Lombard kingdom under the King Rothari. In 773 the kingdom was annexed by the Frankish Empire. The first Carolingian count of Genoa was Adamarus, who was given the title Prefectus Civitatis Genuensis. During this time and in the following century Genoa was little more than a small center, slowly building its merchant fleet, which was to become the leading commercial carrier of the western Mediterranean. In 934-35 the town was thoroughly sacked and burned by a Fatimid fleet under Yagub ibn Ishaq al-Tamimi. This has led to discussion about whether early 10th century Genoa was hardly more than a fishing village or a vibrant trading town worth attacking. In the year 958, a diploma granted by Berengar II of Italy gave full legal freedom to the city of Genoa, guaranteeing the possession of its lands in the form of landed lordships. At the end of the 11th century the municipality adopted a constitution, at a meeting consisting of the city's trade associations and of the lords of the surrounding valleys and coasts. The new city-state was termed a Campania Communis. The local organization remained politically and socially significant for centuries. As late as 1382, the members of the Grand Council were classified by both the companion to which they belonged as well as by their political faction. Rise before 1100, Genoa emerged as an independent city-state, one of a number of Italian city-states during this period. Nominally, the Holy Roman Emperor was overlord and the Bishop of Genoa was president of the city. However, actual power was wielded by a number of consuls annually elected by popular assembly. At that time Muslim raiders were attacking coastal cities on the Tyrrhenian Sea. The Muslims raided Pisa in 1004 and in 1015 they escalated their attacks raiding Luni, with Mujahid al-Siklabi, emir of the Taffa of Denia attacking Sardinia with a fleet of 125 ships. In 1016 the Allied troops of Genoa and Pisa defended Sardinia. In 1066, war erupted between Genoa and Pisa, possibly over control of Sardinia. The Republic was one of the so-called maritime republics, along with Venice, Pisa, Amalfi, Gieta, Ancona, and Ragusa. In 1087, Genoese and Pisan fleets led by Hugh of Pisa and accompanied by troops from Pantaleone of Amalfi, Salerno, and Gieta, attacked the North African city of Madia, the capital of the Fatimid Caliphate. The attack, supported by Pope Victor III, 
became known as the Madia campaign. The attackers captured the city, but couldn't hold it against Arab forces. After burning of the Arab fleet in the city's harbor, the Genoese and Pisan troops retreated. The destruction of the Arab fleet gave control of the western Mediterranean to Genoa, Venice, and Pisa. This enabled Western Europe to supply the troops of the First Crusade of 1096 to 1099 by sea. In 1092, Genoa and Pisa, in collaboration with Alfonso VI of Leon and Castile attacked the Muslim Taafa of Valencia. They also unsuccessfully besieged Tortosa with support from troops of Sancho Ramirez, King of Aragon. In its early centuries Genoa was an important trading city and its power began to increase. Genoa started expanding during the First Crusade. In 1097 Hugh of Chateauneuf, Bishop of Grenoble and William, Bishop of Orange, went to Genoa and preached in the Church of San Siro in order to gather troops for the First Crusade. At the time the city had a population of about 10,000. Twelve galleys, one ship and 1,200 soldiers from Genoa joined the Crusade. The Genoese troops, led by noblemen da Insula and Avocado, set sail in July 1097. The Genoese fleet transported and provided naval support to the Crusaders, mainly during the siege of Antioch in 1098, when the Genoese fleet blockaded the city while the troops provided support during the siege. In the siege of Jerusalem in 1099 Genoese crossbowmen led by Guglielmo M. Briaco acted as support units against the defenders of the city. After the capture of Antioch on May 3, 1098, Genoa forged an alliance with Bohemond of Taranto, who became the ruler of the Principality of Antioch. As a result, he granted them a headquarters, the Church of San Giovanni, and 30 houses in Antioch. On May 6, 1098 a part of the Genoese army returned to Genoa with the relics of St. John the Baptist, granted to the Republic of Genoa as part of their reward for providing military support to the First Crusade. Many settlements in the Middle East were given to Genoa as well as favorable commercial treaties. Genoa later forged an alliance with King Baldwin I of Jerusalem. In order to secure the alliance Baldwin gave Genoa one-third of the lordship of Arsif, one-third of Caesarea, and one-third of Acre and its port's income. Additionally the Republic of Genoa would receive 300 bezants every year, and one-third of Baldwin's conquest every time 50 or more Genoese soldiers joined his troops. The Republic's role as a maritime power in the region secured many favorable commercial treaties for Genoese merchants. They came to control a large portion of the trade of the Byzantine Empire, Tripoli, the Principality of Antioch, Cilician Armenia, and Egypt. Although Genoa maintained free trading rights in Egypt and Syria, it lost some of its territorial possessions after Saladin's campaigns in those areas in the late 12th century. In 1147, Genoa took part in the Siege of Almeria, helping Alfonso VII of Leon and Castile reconquer that city from the Muslims. After the conquest the Republic leased out its third of the city to one of its own citizens, Otto de Benvillano, who swore fealty to the Republic and promised to guard the city with 300 men at all times. This demonstrates how Genoa's early efforts at expanding her influence involved in foffing private citizens to the commune and controlling overseas territories indirectly, rather than through the Republican administration. In 1148, it joined the siege of Tortosa and helped Count Raymond Berengar IV of Barcelona take that city, for which it also received a third. Over the course of the 11th and particularly the 12th centuries, Genoa became the dominant naval force in the western Mediterranean, as its erstwhile rivals Pisa and Amalfi declined in importance. Genoa succeeded in gaining a central position in the Mediterranean slave trade at this time. This left the Republic with only one major rival in the Mediterranean, Venice. Genoese crusaders brought home a green glass goblet from the Levant, which Genoese long regarded as the Holy Grail. Not all of Genoa's merchandise was so innocuous, however, as medieval Genoa became a major player in the slave trade. 13th and 14th century. The commercial and cultural rivalry of Genoa and Venice was played out through the 13th century. The Republic of Venice played a significant role in the Fourth Crusade, diverting Latin energies to the ruin of its former patron and present trading rival, Constantinople. As a result, Venetian support of the newly established Latin Empire meant that Venetian trading rights were enforced, and Venice gained control of large portion of the commerce of the eastern Mediterranean. In order to regain control of the commerce, the Republic of Genoa allied with Michael VIII Paleologos Emperor of Nicaea, 
who wanted to restore the Byzantine Empire by recapturing Constantinople. In March 1261 the Treaty of the Alliance was signed in Nymphium. On July 25, 1261, Nicene troops under Alexios Strategopoulos recaptured Constantinople. As a result, the balance of favor tipped toward Genoa, which was granted free trade rights in the Nicene Empire. Besides the control of commerce in the hands of Genoese merchants, Genoa received ports and way stations in many islands and settlements in the Aegean Sea. The islands of Chios and Lesbos became commercial stations of Genoa as well as the city of Smyrna. Genoa and Pisa became the only states with trading rights in the Black Sea. In the same century the Republic conquered many settlements in Crimea, where the Genoese colony of Caffa was established. The alliance with the restored Byzantine Empire increased the wealth and power of Genoa, and simultaneously decreased Venetian and Pisan commerce. The Byzantine Empire had granted the majority of free trading rights to Genoa. In 1282 Pisa tried to gain control of the commerce and administration of Corsica, after being called for support by the judge Sinucello who revolted against Genoa. In August 1282, part of the Genoese fleet blockaded Pisan commerce near the river Arno. During 1283 both Genoa and Pisa made war preparations. Genoa built 120 galleys, 60 of which belonged to the Republic, while the other 60 galleys were rented to individuals. More than 15,000 mercenaries were hired as Roman and soldiers. The Pisan fleet avoided combat, and tried to wear out the Genoese fleet during 1283. On August 5, 1284, in the naval battle of Maloria the Genoese fleet, consisting of 93 ships led by Oberto Doria and Benedetto I. Zaccaria, defeated the Pisan fleet, which consisted of 72 ships and was led by Alberto Morosini and Ugolino della Gerardesca. Genoa captured 30 Pisan ships, and sank 7. About 8,000 Pisans were killed during the battle, more than half of the Pisan troops, which were about 14,000. The defeat of Pisa, which never fully recovered as a maritime competitor, resulted in gain of control of the commerce of Corsica by Genoa. The Sardinian town of Sassari, which was under Pisan control, became a commune or self-styled free municipality which was controlled by Genoa. Control of Sardinia, however, did not pass permanently to Genoa, the Aragonese kings of Naples disputed control and did not secure it until the 15th century. Genoese merchants pressed south, to the island of Sicily, and into Muslim North Africa's, where Genoese established trading posts, pursuing the gold that traveled up through the Sahara and establishing Atlantic depots as far afield as Soleil and Safi. In 1283 the population of the Kingdom of Sicily revolted against the Angevin rule. The revolt became known as the Sicilian Vespers. As a result, the Aragonese rule was established on the kingdom. Genoa, which had supported the Aragonese, was granted free trading and export rights in the kingdom of Sicily. Genoese bankers also profited from loans to the new nobility of Sicily. Corsica was formally annexed in 1347. Genoa was far more than a depot of drugs and spices from the east, an essential engine of its economy was the weaving of silk textiles, from imported thread, following the symmetrical styles of Byzantine and Sasanian silks. As a result of the economic retrenchment in Europe in the late 14th century, as well as its long war with Venice, which culminated in its defeat at Chioggia, Genoa went into decline. This pivotal war with Venice has come to be called the War of Chioggia because of this decisive battle which resulted in the defeat of Genoa at the hands of Venice. Prior to the War of Chioggia, which lasted from 1379 until 1381, the Genoese had enjoyed a naval ascendancy that was the source of their power and position within northern Italy. The Genoan defeat deprived Genoa of this naval supremacy, pushed it out of eastern Mediterranean markets and began the decline of the city-state. Rising Ottoman power also cut into the Genoese emporia in the Aegean, and the Black Sea trade was reduced. In 1396, in order to protect the Republic from internal unrest and the provocations of the Duke of Orléans and the former Duke of Milan, the Doge of Genoa Antonio Toadorno made Charles VI of France the Defensor del Comune of Genoa. Though the Republic had previously been under partial foreign control, this marked the first time Genoa was dominated by a foreign power. Golden Age of Genoese Bankers Though not well studied, Genoa in the 15th century seems to have been tumultuous. The city had a strong tradition of trading goods from the Levant and its financial expertise was recognized all over Europe. After a brief period of French domination from 1394 to 1409, 
Genoa came under the rule of the Visconti of Milan. Genoa lost Sardinia to Aragon, Corsica to internal revolt, and its Middle Eastern, Eastern European, and Asia Minor colonies to the Ottoman Empire. In the 15th century two of the earliest banks in the world were founded in Genoa, the Bank of St. George, founded in 1407, which was the oldest state deposit bank in the world at its closure in 1805 and the Bank of Carige, founded in 1483 as a Mount of Piety, which still exists. Christopher Columbus was born in Genoa circa 1451, and donated one-tenth of his income from the discovery of the Americas for Spain to the Bank of St. George in Genoa for the relief of taxation on foods. Threatened by Alfonso V of Aragon, the Doge of Genoa in 1458 handed the Republic over to the French, making it the Duchy of Genoa under the control of John of Anjou, a French royal governor. However, with support from Milan, Genoa revolted and the Republic was restored in 1461. The Milanese then changed sides, conquering Genoa in 1464 and holding it as a fief of the French crown. Between 1463 to 1478 and 1488 to 1499, Genoa was held by the Milanese House of Sforza. From 1499 to 1528, the Republic reached its nadir, being under nearly continual French occupation. The Spanish, with their intramural allies, the old nobility entrenched in the mountain fastnesses behind Genoa, captured the city on May 30, 1522, and subjected the city to a merciless pillage. When the great Admiral Andrea Doria of the powerful Doria family allied with the Emperor Charles V to oust the French and restore Genoa's independence, a renewed prospect opened, 1528 marks the first loan from Genoese banks to Charles. Under the ensuing economic recovery, many aristocratic Genoese families, such as the Balbi, Doria, Grimaldi, Palladacini, and Serra, amassed tremendous fortunes. According to Felipe Fernandez Armesto and others, the practices Genoa developed in the Mediterranean were crucial in the exploration and exploitation of the New World. At the time of Genoa's peak in the 16th century, the city attracted many artists, including Rubens, Caravaggio, and Van Dyck. The architect Galeazzo Alessi designed many of the city's splendid palazzi, as did in the decades that followed by 50 years Bartolomeo Bianco, designer of centerpieces of University of Genoa. A number of Genoese Baroque and Rococo artists settled elsewhere and a number of local artists became prominent. Thereafter, Genoa underwent something of a revival as a junior associate of the Spanish Empire, with Genoese bankers, in particular, financing many of the Spanish crown's foreign endeavors from their counting houses in Seville. Fernand Brodel has even called the period 1557 to 1627 the age of the Genoese, of a rule that was so discreet and sophisticated that historians for a long time failed to notice it, although the modern visitor passing brilliant mannerist and Baroque palazzo facades along Genoa's Strada Nova or Via Balbi cannot fail to notice that there was conspicuous wealth, which in fact was not Genoese but concentrated in the hands of a tightly knit circle of banker financiers, true venture capitalists. Genoa's trade, however, remained closely dependent on control of Mediterranean sealands, and the loss of Chios to the Ottoman Empire, struck a severe blow. The opening for the Genoese banking consortium was the state bankruptcy of Philip II in 1557, which threw the German banking houses into chaos and ended the reign of the fuckers as Spanish financiers. The Genoese bankers provided the unwieldy Habsburg system with fluid credit and a dependably regular income. In return the less dependable shipments of American silver were rapidly transferred from Seville to Genoa, to provide capital for further ventures. From about 1520 the Genoese controlled the port of Panama, the first port on the Pacific founded by the conquest of the Americas, the Genoese obtained a concession to exploit the port mainly for the slave trade of the New World on the Pacific, until the destruction of the primeval city in 1671. The Genoese banker Ambrogio Spinola, Marques de los Balbases, for instance, himself raised and led an army that fought in the Eighty Years' War in the Netherlands in the early 17th century. The decline of Spain in the 17th century brought also the renewed decline of Genoa, and the Spanish crown's frequent bankruptcies, in particular, ruined many of Genoa's merchant houses. In 1684 the city was heavily bombarded by a French fleet as punishment for its alliance with Spain. Decline in May 1625 a French Savoyan army briefly laid siege to Genoa. Though it was eventually lifted with the aid of the Spanish, 
The French would later bombard the city in May 1684 for its support of Spain during the War of the Reunions. In between, a plague killed as many as half of the inhabitants of Genoa in 1656-57. Genoa continued its slow decline well into the 18th century, losing its last Mediterranean colony, the island fortress of Tabarca, to the Bay of Tunis in 1742. The Convention of Turin of 1742, in which Austria allied with the Kingdom of Sardinia, caused some consternation in the Republic. However, when this provisional relationship was given a more durable and reliable character in the signing of the Treaty of Worms, in 1743, the fear of diplomatic isolation had caused the Genoese Republic to abandon its neutrality and to ally with the House of Bourbon in the War of the Austrian Succession. Consequently, the Republic of Genoa signed a secret treaty with the Bourbon allies of Kingdom of France, Spanish Empire and Kingdom of Naples. On June 26, 1745, the Republic of Genoa declared war on the Kingdom of Sardinia. This decision would prove disastrous for Genoa, which later surrendered to the Austrians in September 1746 and was briefly occupied before a revolt liberated the city two months later. The Austrians returned in 1747 and, along with a contingent of Sardinian forces, laid siege to Genoa before being driven off by the approach of a Franco-Spanish army. Though Genoa retained its lands in the Peace of Aix-la-Chapelle, it was unable to keep its hold on Corsica in its weakened state. After driving out the Genoese, the Corsican Republic was declared in 1755. Eventually relying on French intervention to quash the rebellion, Genoa was forced to cede Corsica to the French in the 1768 Treaty of Versailles. The End of the Republic and its Brief Revival of 1814 Already in 1794 and 1795 the revolutionary echoes from France reached Genoa, thanks to Genoese propagandists and refugees sheltered in the nearby state of the Alps, and in 1794 a conspiracy against the aristocratic and oligarchic ruling class that, in fact, was already waiting for it in the Genoese palaces of power. However, it was in May 1797 that the intent of the Genoese Jacobins and French citizens to overthrow the government of the Doge Giacomo Maria Brignol took shape, giving rise to a fratricidal war in the streets between opponents and popular supporters of the current custom system. The direct intervention of Napoleon and his representatives in Genoa was the final act that led to the fall of the Republic in early June, who overthrew the old elites which had ruled the state for all of its history, giving birth to the Ligurian Republic on June 14, 1797 under the watchful care of Napoleonic France. After Bonaparte's seizure of power in France, a more conservative constitution was enacted, but the Ligurian Republic's life was short. In 1805 it was annexed by France, becoming the departments of Apennines, Gênes, and Montanati. With the fall of Napoleon, and the subsequent Congress of Vienna, Genoa regained an ephemeral independence, with the name of the Repubblica Genovese, which lasted less than a year. However, the Congress established the annexation of the territories, and therefore of the whole of Liguria with the Old Trigigo area and the island of Capria to the Kingdom of Sardinia, governed by the House of Savoy, contravening the principle of restoring the legitimate governments and monarchies of the Old Republic.